We're going to go over archiving and reusing classrooms at the end of the year for Google Classroom. The first thing I'm going to do is go to classroom.google.com to get over to my classroom page. My classroom page has all of the different classrooms that I am a teacher in on Google Classroom. I'm going to select the Google Classroom, and there are a few tips and tricks and some recommendations we have for switching out in your classrooms at the end of the year. The first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the grades tab and make sure that all of the grades and work has been submitted from students. And even though at this time, a lot of teachers haven't kept grades, you're still gonna wanna go back through anything in the grade book that is in draft mode, click on those three dots and return those items back to the student. When you return items back to the student, this makes the ownership of all files transfer back to the students instead of being your items. Over here on the People tab, if I decide to archive my class, then all class materials and student work and all the posts are preserved, but they're not going to be active anymore. You and your students can still access class materials in Google Drive. If you decide that you do not want to have students having access to that content after you've archived a class, then it might be good to disenroll students. So you're going to want to select all students and on actions, you're going to want to remove them. It's going to remove the students from the class, but students, as long as you've returned their work, will still have access to their Google Classroom folders with all of their work in it. So now that I have disenrolled my students and I've returned all their work back, I'm going to go back to my classroom dashboard and in the top right corner, there are three buttons and I'm going to archive this class. So my students and I won't be able to make any changes, but I can still view this archived class and I can also reuse any posts from the class. This means that the Google Classroom is not deleted, but is not one of my active Google Classroom. To get to my archived class, I'm going to go up to the top left of the screen and I'm going to go all the way down to where it says archived classes. And even from being an archived class, I'm able to make a copy of this class. So I'm gonna select copy. It's gonna copy the class name and the subject. Now you're going to notice in my classroom dashboard, I have a copy of that Google Classroom. When you create a copy of a Google Classroom, the items that will copy over are the title section, the course subject, all of the different topics here in classwork, it's also going to copy over all of the classwork posts. They're gonna be copied over, but if you notice, they're all going to be made in draft mode. All of the instructions as well as attachments to the assignments are going to be copied as well, but there will be no link to any students. So that way you can add new students into this classroom. Items that do not copy over are any of the items from the stream, teacher announcements, any students or co-teachers from previous classes, student comments or student posts. So I can go up here in the top left and rename that classroom for the new year. Going back to my archived classroom, there are a few things you're gonna wanna clean up before you end out the year. One of these things, even once my classroom is archived, is in classwork. If I go to the class drive folder, do not delete the Google Classroom folder because this folder creates a link between your drive and the Google Classroom. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the root classroom folder and I'm going to see inside this folder is a whole bunch of my Google Classrooms. Inside this folder itself, I'm gonna create a brand new folder and I'm gonna call it archived classrooms, create that folder, and inside archived classrooms right here, I'm going to put any of the archived classrooms that are no longer active. This way, I know that any of the folders that are in this space are the classrooms that are active. Also inside this Google Classroom is the Google Calendar. For every Google Classroom that you create, it creates a brand new Google Calendar. So to avoid clutter and having a whole bunch of Google calendars in my Google calendar space, at the end of the year, it would be a good idea to delete this Google calendar. So I'm going to just click on this X and I want to remove this calendar and that way it will clean up that space where my Google classrooms are. So I'm gonna go back to my classroom pages. So I'm back in my Classworks page. And if you really want to get rid of a Google Classroom, go down to the archived classes, go to that archived class and select delete. I'd advise you just to keep the classrooms in your archived classroom space. So that way you can reuse all of those different assignments for your own Google Classrooms.